Welcome to Electron Online. Here's another example of how to solve a second order linear differential equation that's both homogeneous and that has constant coefficients. So here's the general format of a second order linear differential equation. That one has all three terms, y double prime, y prime, and y. In front of the y prime and y, we have two functions of x, f of x and g of x. And on the right side, we have a third function of x, r of x. Now, to make it homogeneous, we allow r of x to go to 0. And then, to make it one with constant coefficients, we replace the two functions f of x and g of x by two constants, and let's call them b and c. So therefore, f of x becomes b, g of x becomes c. Now we have a differential equation that is a second order linear differential equation that is homogeneous and has constant coefficients. We're now going to solve this particular one, y double prime plus y equals zero. How do we do that? Well, we realize that the general solution is going to be in the form y equals e to the lambda x, where lambda can be found by taking the coefficients in front of y prime, uh, y double prime, y prime, and y term uh, to be a, b, and c. Now, of course, in our case, a is going to be equal to 1. But then if we take this equation right here, we use the b and c in our equation, and that looks exactly like a quadratic equation, we can solve it with the quadratic formula. Of course, realizing that a is equal to 1, that makes it look like this. We can also take this equation and say, well, maybe we don't need to use the quadratic formula. Maybe we can just simply look at, look at it like this. We know that in this equation, so a would be equal to 1, because that's the coefficient in front of y double prime. b is equal to 0, because we're missing the middle term, we're missing the y prime term, and c is equal to 1. So when we plug that in here, we get lambda squared plus 0 times lambda plus 1 equals 0. So now when we go ahead and get rid of this, then we have lambda squared plus 1 equals 0, or lambda squared is equal to negative 1, which means lambda is equal to plus or minus the square root of negative 1, which of course that means lambda is equal to plus or minus i. So if we plug that then into our exponent right here, we then have end up with the two solutions. We have the first solution, y is equal to e to the lambda, which would be i times x. And the second solution is y is equal to e to the minus i times x. And so these then become the two solutions. I'll just go ahead and put an r. Either one would, would work. Here are the two solutions to this differential equation. And that's how we solve second order linear homogeneous differential equations with constant coefficients. That's how it's done.